Uh, hi guys, welcome to the um, ATR-72500 flight gear video tutorial series. Uh, the ATR-72500 cargo and passenger variants are brought to you by the Omega Hangar. Uh, please do check out our new website, theomegahangar.co.nr. Okay, now in this tutorial series, we'll be having videos focusing on the aircraft systems, such as the uh, autopilot, the flight management computer, the manual startup procedure and stuff. Okay, so let's get to this video. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to program the FMC for a flight from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur. We'll be using a route in airway, dat for, uh, airway format, so that's like the first time in flight gear. Uh, you can get routes in airway format from whatever.com or flightsimaviation.com or even make up your own route with the um, mpmap um, mpmap.01.flightgear.org. So, um, so I've uh, made up the map, uh, made up the route with MP map for this one. Um, okay, let's get into the cockpit and start the video. Uh, start. Okay. Um, as you notice, the aircraft is now power. We can turn on the external power, or we could run in hotel mode. Hotel mode, you have to turn on any one of the two engines with propeller brake on. Uh, that's important. And then you turn on any of the AC wild generators to get power. Uh, that's going to run your event. Let's just use external power for now. Make sure you turn on DC service and utility bus. Okay, so the let's go to the FMC now. Right, so you turn on by clicking on PRT, and this is the ident page of the model engines. Uh, as you know, the company data is not installed yet. I haven't made it yet. I'll do it really soon. Um, we do have nav data too, uh, though if you don't have it installed already, please do get Omega at 1.0 and position reference. Uh, set your UDC time, it's 10.18. Um, your GPS location, just make sure it's right. Uh, it, it would be enough to worry about that. Let's go to the route now. Okay, in the route page, now we have to uh, enter our origin and whiskey my kill kill it's our uh, destination. Um, now you see the activate thing comes, we'll get back to you on that. You put in your runway, which is not compulsory, you could add it later. Uh, flight number is Mike India Alpha 1634 from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, and now the activate. You could activate the route now, but that would put the aircraft on a direct flight to Kuala Lumpur, and we don't want that. We want to put in the route legs. So, uh, Let's just go to the next page right now where we uh, put in the airways and the waypoints. So first we're going to fly to uh, Bobag. Um, it would sh when you put it in it will show direct but uh, we're going to put in a sit in later so it's fine. Now from Bobag we're going to take the um, Papa 501 airway all the way up to Arama Alpha Romeo Alpha Mike Alpha. From there, we're going to take the Alpha 464 airway all the way up to Dumok, the uh, Inform Mike Oscar Kilo. So that's the basic airway format route. Um, now, we could activate, but I'm not. I'm going to go to the legs page right now to edit the legs. Um, so you can see that there are more waypoints that you enter. That's because the route 1 legs actually takes out the waypoints from the uh, airways and puts them in. Um, Okay, so right now let's um, let's first activate the route. Uh, before that, I want to show you that uh, no changes have been made to the flight plan yet. Now, when you activate it, you have to execute the changes. Now, this is important about the HRSM2 FMC. Uh, when you make a change, uh, they don't go in unless you activate them. Once you activate them, you see that the change is there. So uh, you have to actually execute all the changes so that it goes into the active route see the map um, we have the whole uh, flight plan the map too now um, just for an example and how to edit I'm gonna show you um, let's say we wanna go to PMOC and then Arama instead of Anbus so uh, you first type in PMOC and insert it uh, right above Anbus that's where you want it to be and you see it says mod there that the um, active route has been modified and you have to execute the changes again um, now let's remove Anbus. Select down uh, Arama. You can select away from the on it and then move it up. There we go. And execute our changes. If you check the map, we should um, have it on our new. Um, our, our changes should be uh, on the active route. So um, that's that. Let's get back to Anbus because I want to follow the actual route, which is Papa 501. So, sorry, Anbus. And uh, remove PMOC. 
uh, and you see that no changes have been executed when I click on execute it puts in the changes for the root okay and the right side now this is for altitude constraints um, they display on the ADU they're not actually we now that just tell it like gives you a warning or an advisory if you're going there now to add a waypoint you could just uh, type it in and then uh, click on the LSK next to then um, okay that's that's about it here let's go performance in it um, first I'm going to set in 2.0 uh, blocks of reserve fuel 18,000 feet are transition altitude and uh, We'll be cruising at flight level 140, not a really long flight. Uh, make sure you do type in FL and execute. Uh, now, okay, if you don't execute, you can also erase. It's there for legs to once you, once you erase it, it goes back to what was saved. I'm going to put in uh, flight level 140 and execute it. You can automatically load gross weight and fuel. There's some small error there. I'm going to fix that soon. Then you have prime cruise, uh, cruise descent performances. That's like your speed and IES and Mach. So I'm going to go 180 knots and 0.55 Mach. Uh, you could put the M if you want, doesn't matter, and the fuel configuration is not necessary. Then 250.55 uh, for descent. Uh, you don't have to put an M, but I'm going to put it anyway. Now once you're done with that, you go to the next page to get your descent calculations. Your uh, top of descent at flight level 140 is 55 miles off. Uh, you need a uh, descent at 12, negative 1200 feet per minute, but it also calculates your um, required VS at the last wake point. So if you see here, the... Uh, uh, top of descent around there and tow is there so uh, you don't have to watch your DME you could go to the go to tow port and start your descent at negative 1000 feet per minute uh, as simple as that let's go select our sit and star now first departure um there are run base here if you select change run base your uh, sit option changes we're gonna stick to two zero right um select the bog one f that takes us to bow bag and uh let's so uh, wait execute our Execute, execute it, and there we go. The uh, the SID is put onto the active route, so now we're gonna fly the SID and then go into the actual flight plan. Uh, you see that it's also there in your ND, so you can keep an eye on it without opening the map. Okay, so now let's um, go back to departure arrival and go to arrival at Kuala Lumpur. Um, it's like runway 14 left. Hmm, it's supposed to be La Pair. Strange. Oh wait, sorry, that's a wrong run It's 32 left. Okay, there we go. There's La Pair. So that, that that's used. Uh, we're gonna use the La Pair star. Just click on it again if the execute light's not already on. Um. Yeah, now you have Nepar Sas3 if you're coming in from the east or south. Uh, and then we have La Pair, which would be. Uh, Lepper would be perfect for from where we're coming in. It's like a straight in entry. Uh, let's execute our changes. There we go. Um, the thing, um, it's not really necessary, but in, uh, whatever star you're using, it puts us right on track for the ILS or for a visual straight in approach. So, there. And you should also see that the airport and the runway would be mentioned in the active route one legs um, area. Okay, so um, uh, now we're also going to be making another route, route 2, that's like your alternate route or, um, you know, like your route's going to fly later. Let's go to progress now. Um, now this There's a small error here with the label and the fuel value. I'm going to fix that as soon as possible and upload it. And this shows you your last waypoint, the waypoint you're going to. Uh, your uh, altitude or I mean not altitude distance to go and then the ETA in Zulu Zulu time is what we put in in the position reference it'd be uh, taking that as your initial uh, that's your current time um, well that's all for now thank you for watching